and where do we want to go? Because I'm always drawing parallels like 50 years ago when the Chinese started with the Cultural Revolution, for example. 50 years down the line, every Chinese feels very much Chinese today. He is very assertive. He is very proud of being Chinese. And in fact, so many things are changing. For example, today, if you want to export anything to China, you have to write it in Chinese on the product, which was not the case some time ago. Today, 50 years later, after the African Union has been created, I believe in 1963, every person, up the, every citizen of Africa upon independence was feeling very much African. Yes. More African than they are today. But that means today, in 2013, we are feeling less Africans. We are not, we are even feeling less Ethiopian, less Kenyan, less Nigerian. Yes. We are feeling more into our own small tribes and so on. Mm -hmm. So that means we don't have a vision, we don't have the question of identity, yes. who we are, where we want to go. Because those things, whether we build infrastructure, whether we want to build industries, create jobs, they all should be leading somewhere. Yes. And we are, Africa is really big. Um, Lacking that vision. Mm. We really and I totally need a agree with vision. Daniel that we need a vision, but one of the things that um, I'm not so fond of is the agendas we always create, the agenda for 2063. Milestones that lead us to the end of the road, I want to say, but the agendas till 2063, they're, they're too far fetched, they're too out there, and and we, we, we lose that vision that he just mentioned. So, yeah, Sheila. Okay. You know, when, 